while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. To pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So something is going to happen on it. Hold on, stay with me. In the day of the Lord's judgment, when Christ cracked that sky with the angels and they judge all those, read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. The princes are the men, the king's children are the daughters. Those people in that sign, Christ says, I'm coming back to punish you. Why? Read. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. All that are what? Clothed with strange apparel. What's another word for apparel? Clothing, right? He says, all those that's clothed with strange apparel, strange apparel to God is seeing a man like Tyler Perry. Six oh, okay. foot three, 250 wearing a, a dress and a wig and makeup. <laughs> strange apparel to God is seeing a woman in pants. We ain't here to tear you down, we're here to save your soul. Because what you gotta understand is when you go outside these laws of God, it's a judgment that comes behind you. And we're trying to save you from that. So what up? The Bible says the priests, the priests were the Levites. They were the ones that the Israelites went to when they needed knowledge. If it was an incident that happened and we needed understanding, we would go to the priest. If I'm having trouble in my marriage, like, man, why I can't get this priest? Help me out. Not the priest that's in these Catholic church, touching on these little boys, destroying lives. Not the pastor that's in the church taking money from old women. The pastor driving the Cadillac and people riding the bus. That's not the priest that you read about in the Bible. That's not the, the prophets of the Most High God. The true prophets of God, guess where they would be at? On the streets with the people building them up. Right. That's where the real prophets of God would be at. Right. How much money have we asked for y'all? None. We ain't asked for no money. You know why? Because that ain't important when it comes to this Bible. Right. Right. Read. For the priest lips should keep knowledge. God says the priest lips should keep knowledge. Remember, knowledge is why we went into slavery. So God says the priest lips should keep knowledge. Read. And they should see the law at his mouth. You heard that, bro? It says the priest's lips should seek knowledge and they should do what? Seek the law at his mouth. What should they seek? The law. The laws. The laws. I'm glad that you heard that, bro. The laws is what we're supposed to seek. The laws of the Bible are the things that's going to bring us back to greatness. You know what some of those laws are? Give me Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Hey, sister, you love God? Uh, to the utmost, right? So what we out here to do is we out here to... Hey, sister, my sister right here. Hey, who shot? Tell the sister to come build with us because we about to go into the scriptures, right? My sister, come build with me. She What's your name? Check it out. Yeah, come check it out. I'm glad you stopped because just like I was telling Michelle, everybody like to say the black man ain't ish. The whole world like to tear the black man down. Would you agree with that, sis? Which What's your name? Aisha. Aisha. This your sister, daughter? This is your sister. What's your name? This is our sister Michelle right here. This is our brother Glenn right here. This is family right here. This is the family. This is that thing that we bring it back. When we love each other. When we didn't turn our nose up against each other. So sis, what we out here to do, say it one more time. What's your name? Aisha. What we out here to do is show the true identity of who we are. The world tell us that we black, African American, Negro color. That's not a true nationality. You know who we are? We are the Israelites. We are the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are the Israelites that you read about in the Bible. You know what else? The real Jews. We're not Jewish. We are the Jews that you read about in the Bible. But what happened is they took our identity, they put us in chains, and then they cast us off into slavery. What God said he's going to do in the last days, pour his spirit back in the earth and wake one third of his children up to come back to him. But majority of his children going to cast them off. You know why? Because us Israelites is hard-headed and rebellious. Because let me ask you a question. You love God? You love God, sir? Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Hold on. John 14, 15 real quick. Because we say we love God, right? You see the signs? That's who we truly are. African Americans, Puerto Ricans, Dominicans, Mexicans. We were the family. We were the nation. You, you hear me, bro? Yes, we were, what's your name? Jaden. Jaden. We are a family, a nation. When we gun each other down like we don't mean spit to each other. Watch this, read. John, chapter 14, verse 15. If you love me. So you say you love God. You do too. You love God? Yes, sir. So watch what Christ say. If you love me. If you love God, you love Christ, right? Yes, sir. Watch what Christ say. Keep my commandments. Christ say, if you love me, keep my commandments. Another command, another word for commandment is what? Remember, the priest lips should keep knowledge, the knowledge is the power. 
laws. What? The laws. The commandments are the laws. So Christ said, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? Go to Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. So now it comes the point where that crossroad is given. And now you got the left, you got the right, and you got the most high God in the middle. Now comes that point where you got to choose life or choose death. Remember Moses told the Israelites that. We're going to tell y'all the same thing. You know why? Because y'all are princesses to the most high. And it's something that's required of you. You can't just say, like me, say for instance I go around slapping my wife and then turn around and say, babe, I love you though. Punch her in the eye, black her eye. I get locked up, she come by me, I thanks, babe, I love you. Bow, hit her again. You shouldn't have caught the cops on me. Is that love? In our community, it is love these days. It's that toxic nonsense that we think. Yeah, you, you feel? But we gotta, we gotta cut that out. We gotta cut that out, sis, because that ain't love. Michelle, I'm gonna stay with me. I know we, we all, we felt that one. We felt that one. But watch this. Right, right, right. That, that talks of love in our community. But that ain't how it's supposed to be. That, uh, if a man put his hands on you, he do not love you. He uses you. Real men don't hit no, we don't hit no women. Breathe. We build them up. You build them up. When you see your woman going off, teach her, show her. Build her up. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. So he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. This is one of those commandments. The woman. So God says the woman, the Israelite woman, the black, Hispanic, and Native American woman. This Bible is very specific. Read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So the Bible says neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Let me ask y'all sisters. What's a woman? I'm going to ask you, Glenn. What's a woman's garment? It's a bra, panties. Bar, panties, dress. Would y'all agree? So God says a man shouldn't put on a woman's garment. Read it from the top. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what's the garment that a man that belongs to a man? Pants. 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 So you realize this is a commandment, right? Except for 9, 1, and 8. Because what we got to understand, because you might look at it like, man, that's just clothes. It ain't that serious. A lot of our sisters say that. But you don't understand. It's like a father to a child. If I tell my child to do something and he continues to rebel against me, you know what's going to happen? This, right here, look at the sign. This is what happens when God speaks. His children go into slavery. This is discipline. When we rebellious, judgment comes behind it. A man shaved his beard, raise the bumps. God says to marry that woman, you want to be a homemugger, take this package that you'll never get rid of. Herpes, disease, STDs, AIDS, because it was never supposed to be like that. Whenever we go outside the laws of God, it's a judgment that comes with it. Read it. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. So Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. God says a woman shouldn't wear pants, a man shouldn't wear a dress, right? That's clothing, apparel, right? Watch this. And it shall come to pass. Something is going to happen in the future. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. The day of the Lord's sacrifice is they not teach you the truth. Christ is coming back to judge the earth for his sins. That's what happened during the time of Noah. Hey, bro, come back and build with us. Don't leave. Okay, that's what happened during the time of Noah. Everybody liked to talk about the beautiful animals, but they missed the part where God drowned everybody in the earth. He killed everybody in the earth, and he says he's coming back with fire this time. The world don't teach that part. Watch this. Read. That I will punish the princess. So read it from the top. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice. So something is going to happen on it. Hold on, stay with me. In the day of the Lord's judgment, when Christ cracked that sky with the angels, and they judge all those, read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children. The princes are the men, the king's children are the daughters. Those people in that sign, Christ says, I'm coming back to punish you. Why? Read. And all such are clothed with strange apparel. All that are what? Clothed with strange apparel. What's another word for apparel? Clothing, right? He says, all those that's clothed with strange apparel, strange apparel to God is seeing a man like Tyler Perry. Six oh, okay. foot three, 250 wearing a, a dress and a wig and makeup. <laughs> strange apparel to God is seeing a woman in pants. We ain't here to tear you down, we're here to save your soul. Because what you gotta understand is when you go outside these laws of God, it's a judgment that comes behind you. And we're trying to save you from that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the next teacher come up and edify. Men of Israel, sons of God. Next teacher, come up. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.
Let's go!